Right, just a couple of minutes for us to speak to the SA Weather Service about what we can expect over the weekend in KZN off the back of the flooding. Uh, always good to have uh, forecaster Lech Lahonolo Tobela uh, joining us. Uh, Lech Lahonolo, morning. So what is KZN looking like for the next few days? Morning, brother man. Um, we're expecting an upper trough to start well, becoming a cutter flow by tomorrow. So that system will bring in some hectic or scattered to widespread showers of thunder showers and some rain for along the coastal areas. Central and the eastern parts are expected to have an 80% chance. That's where we're having KZN being involved in the 80% chance of showers and thunder showers and some uh, rainfall along the coast, especially the southeastern parts, which have already received some uh, significant amounts of rain for the past days so with the soil being saturated and mm. some waterlogged roads we're still expecting any amount of rainfall to result in some possible um, flooding along the areas especially around the southeastern parts and the affected areas sunday we still see a better chance but the 80 percent moves to the northern areas of the kzn province however we still have a level two warning for disruptive rain also including Harting province and northeastern parts of the northwest eastern parts of free state and the eastern half of the eastern cape province which will happen on saturday Saturday, which might result in some flooding in areas. So when people are driving, should drive with caution. And on Sunday, that's when we have the scattered chance, the minimal chance of showers and thunder showers then uh, before the day, which was Saturday. And that's mainly on the eastern parts of northwest, uh, Gauteng province, eastern parts of Free State, and most uh, areas of the KZN province. However, the northern parts of the KZN will expect an 80% chance of showers and thunder showers. That is on Sunday. And things start easing out from Monday where we have a 30% chance, but a 60% chance of showers and rain along the east coast by Monday. Uh, and this is why it's so important to talk to you because so many uh, people are now leaving, or they have already probably by now, uh, and driving down into KZN. So on the roads, they need to be careful. KZN needs to be careful uh, as well. Let Nolo tell me, you were talking about the saturation in the soil. If we hadn't seen the flooding uh, that we had a few days ago, would the weather that we're expecting this weekend, would it be abnormally heavy rainfall, which could result in flooding, or is it because of the soil saturation, we could see flooding again this weekend. So with systems like this, they generally do bring rainfall, uh, huge amounts or rather uh, enormous amounts of rainfall falling, which would result in flooding, more especially in prone, low-lying prone areas that are built around the floodplain. That results in uh, most areas there um, resulting in a certain figure of amount, like it could be different for every area, but however, for most areas that have 50 millimeters um, of rainfall falling results in that flooding. So it depends on the area where it is. Without the saturation, it would still re result in flooding, but not mm. as significant as what we've seen. I mean, with what has happened now, there is a higher chance of runoff happening with any amount that falls on the, on the ground. Yeah, there's just a, the, the, the soil is just too saturated to handle anything else. Last yeah. question, briefly, if you could. Uh, I may have missed it. Any weather warnings itself? Any warnings from the SA Weather Service yeah. uh, for parts of SA this weekend? Okay, so this weekend, especially Saturday, we're expecting a uh, level 2 warning for rainfall and disruptive rain, mainly for Gauteng, the eastern parts of Free State, uh, eastern parts of the northwest province, and most parts of the KZN province and the eastern half of the Eastern Cape. However, we have a level 4 for the southeastern parts of KZN, which is disruptive rain, and also a certain portion of the eastern parts of the Eastern Cape province today. Well, sorry, tomorrow we're being a Saturday. Uh, and I really appreciate it. I think so does everybody joining us this morning. Lech Honolo Tobela, SA Weather Services, uh, just giving us an idea that the rain is not over, especially, of course, uh, with the flooding we've seen in KZN the past few days and the Eastern Cape, I'm afraid. There are warnings for some parts of those provinces, KZN and Eastern Cape. So you need to please be very careful driving in, anybody visiting those provinces, and, of course, the residents in those areas. You need to brace for more heavy rain on the way. Of course, we'll keep a close eye uh, on the situation on the ground.